harnessing the power of the sun. It's a bright idea with enormous potential. But how do we get there? There's plenty of power in the sun to meet the energy needs of the world. We haven't figured out how to get the, the ratio right of cost and efficiencies. Put it in there and then spray. This spray paint could be part of the future of solar power. With support from the National Science Foundation, chemical engineer Brian Corgle and his team at the University of Texas are developing spray-on solar cells. They're being tested as alternatives to the sometimes bulky, fragile devices now used to capture the sun's rays. These are nanocrystals suspended in a solvent, and you take this material and you can deposit it as you would in ink. These are actual devices, test devices, made of the solar ink, deposited on plastic. And so these are devices that are sandwiches, where you have the metal contact on the bottom and metal contact on the top to extract the charge out, and the middle part absorbs the light. The goal is to use these nanoparticles to coat large, layered solar collectors that are cheap and flexible, even printing them the way newspapers are. You want to produce something that's very user-friendly. And the final product would look something like, ideally, would look something like today's shingle. But there are many challenges before you'll be able to buy these nanoparticle solar shingles to power your house. They work, but we need to get the efficiency better. We have made devices that have a, an efficiency of 3%. And to be commercial, you really need to be at about 10%. Turn on the light and then place devices in the beam of the light and make a measurement of the current. The efficiency of the last device we tested is a little above 1% efficient. Korgel says this sustainable energy research resonates with just about everyone. When they hear that somebody has come up with a way to make a solar cell by spray painting it, they get really excited. In this lab, there are plenty of new ideas under the sun. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.